You guys want to build something? I feel like we spent a lot of these tutorials talking about abstract concepts or tackling individual bits of functionality. That kind of makes sense since quick hitch should be, well, quick. But it might be satisfying to spend a couple of tutorials writing code that actually does something. So we're going to build a contact form. We already did a similar form in previous lessons, but this one's going to be more complex. Our contact form is going to have a few different pieces. The form itself, some basic front-end validation, and a back-end to handle the submission with additional validation. We'll be doing that both via standard post and via Ajax. We're going to use Node.js for our back-end, of course, and I'm considering connecting to an actual SMTP service so we can send the email. Does that sound interesting? Let me know. So for today, let's get our Express server set up. We've done this in the past, specifically in tutorials 52 through 56. You can visit the JS Quick Hits Index over on closebrace.com to see those. We're going to scaffold it out quickly using Express Generator. So cd to wherever you keep your node projects and type the following. This will create a contact form folder with all of our Express scaffolding in it. Huzzah! cd into contact form and type npm install. This will add the basic modules we'll need to run our server. Once that's done its thing, go ahead and add that folder to your text editor of choice. I've been using VS Code for a lot of things lately and it's pretty cool, but the guy who created Sublime Text has also been adding lots of nifty stuff. Either editor is great, and there are many other alternatives you might prefer. I'm not here to judge. Anyway, once you've added the folder, you'll see a bunch of files and directories. We covered these in depth in the aforementioned tutorial, so let's not spend a bunch of time on them. We're going to create a separate route and view for our contact page because, well, why not? We could do it on the index page, but that's boring. So in slash routes, create a file called contact.js, and add this code to it. go ahead and save that. Now we need a view, so create slash views slash contact dot ejs. Now add all of this code. I'm actually going to paste this instead of typing it. Now normally I advocate typing out instead of copy pasting. For the videos sometimes for speed I'll copy paste. And with HTML like this honestly you don't learn a ton by typing it all out. So if you want to go to either the newsletter or the text version of this tutorial and just copy and paste this, I promise I won't blame you. All right, save that file. And finally, we need to wire up our route and view. So open app.js. Find the two route imports right here. And below them, add a third line like this. Then scroll down and find the route assignments right here. Below those, add a third one. All right, save that. Now we're going to need to start our server, so go back to your terminal window. I use nodemon, which automatically restarts the server as you, we've covered this a million times, but as you make changes to your JS files and save them, it automatically restarts. If you don't use nodemon, you'll have to manually restart each time. It's up to you. All right, looks good. Let's take a look. That's running. That also is running. Looks awful. Want to make it slightly less ugly? Open up slash public slash style sheets slash style.css. Underneath that, add all of this following code, which is horrible minified CSS, so I definitely recommend copying and pasting this from text. I know, I know. That is some ugly CSS. But I'm trying to keep this tutorial quick, so trust me, this will all work. Save it. Refresh. Much better. This feels like a good place to stop for this week. We've got a form established, we can go look at it, and it looks reasonably pretty. Next week, we'll begin wiring it up. See you then.